Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector back here with another video review. What do I have for you today, folks? None other than the Marvel Legends series, Joe Fixit, Build a Figure Wave. I have been waiting for this wave for a while. I did get it a while ago. Again, I am playing catch up due to school commitments, work commitments, a week with uh, limited uh, power and availability. But here I am, boys and girls of middle ages, uh, trying to get everything I can to you as best as I can to you. Anyways, that's uh, neither here nor there. Here we are with the wave. And in this wave is a bunch of heavy hitters, in my opinion. I mean, we get Marvel's Kang, Marvel's Thunderstrike, which, quite honestly, I never thought we'd see him in uh, six-inch scale. We, I think they got him in a, uh, in a three and three-quarter... Uh, wasn't my cup of tea in that Marvel Universe wave. Um, I hope that people who liked him got him in that one. <laughs> we get the Avengers video game. Uh, Captain America in a more uh, stealthier outfit. I'm not going to lie to you, boys and girls. I've played the game, and I have not played the game. Um, it sucks. Anyway, and we get a Atmosphere Armor Iron Man, which looks pretty darn snazzy. I mean, give me an Iron Man suit and I'm a sucker for it. Uh, we also get, I believe, the first time ever in figure form, and hopefully I don't mess this up, but this is Jocasta. I have no idea about this character, but I've got some bio stuff that'll hopefully get us up to speed. I think she has something to do with Ultron. And finally... A much needed and much wanted update. Marvel's Falcon. Uh, just in time for uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier television show, which uh, should be airing here soon. And I think they just wrapped up on WandaVision, and I think I'm two episodes behind. Don't judge me. But uh, the last Falcon we got, I think we got some of that again in that Marvel Universe line, uh, which uh, again, I've only grabbed a handful of figures from that. I'm, I don't even know where they're at right now. Uh, but the last thing we had was um, um, from the Toy Biz Marvel Legends days. So this is a much needed, much wanted update. So we get two updates with Falcon and Kang. Kang is also, he's an update. He is an update uh, because... Uh, I believe Toy Biz had one in a Fantastic Four wave, and then Hasbro turned around and released him in another wave. And then we have this updated one right here. Again, first time for Thunderstrike, at least in this scale, and I'm eagerly anticipating that. Again, Captain America and Iron Man from the video game waves. I'm going to pause this video, kids, and when I come back, I'm going to have everybody out of their plastic and cardboard prisons, and I'll be right back with you. Sit tight. Boys and girls, I apologize. In my excitement, I forgot to totally go over the packaging because I'm thinking, you know what? These are Marvel Legends. You know what you're looking at. But for those who don't, here we go. Kang's already up because I have him standing here on the side. We get the figure, the window box packaging that you have here, the character usually within his accessories or her accessories. A nice shot of the side artwork, which we have Kang. Uh, Thunderstrike. I'm going to go with Falcon. Jocasta, movie or game reverse Iron Man and Cap who get that uh, nice uh, uh, team shot right there and on the back of the packaging I'm just going to take Cap because I can you get the picture of the figure and then you get the figures that are in the wave I, I do miss the half shots of the, of, the, of the figures and stuff like that, but you usually get half shots of the figure that you were getting. Now we get like full frontal shots, uh, at least of the upper body, and then the parts and their corresponding character within to complete this suited Joe Fix-It. And just so you see there, same thing on the back. On the back of Kang's you get Marvel's Kang, born in the 31st century. Kang employs time travel and hyper... Sophisticated technology to conquer all of time. Uh, my brothers speculated next big bad for if they go forward with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, who they could bring out to be as bad as Thanos. Uh, Marvel's Thunderstrike. Kevin Masterson follows in noble footsteps of his idol Thor. 
because the world still needs heroes. Marvel's Falcon, Sam Wilson soars through the skies, dispensing justice and restoring faith in humanity. Jocasta, Jocasta's superhuman force fields and electromagnetic beams make her a valuable ally of the Avengers. Ally, very nice. And then we've got Iron Man. Tony Stark developed his cutting edge atmosphere armor to defend the world against catastrophic threats. And then we've got stealth Captain America injected with an experimental super soldier serum. Steve Rogers has the peak potential of strength, endurance, and dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, flexible. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna pause this video. Get everybody back out, and I'll be right back with you. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and man, I gotta tell you, it's been a while since I've gone through a whole wave. I mean, it's been a minute. But here we are, here they are, all out of their uh, cardboard and plastic prisons to take a closer look. And I'm just gonna indulge myself. To me, Kang is always gonna be a heavy hitter. Why? Because I remember seeing him in the Secret Wars line when I was a kid and just being intrigued by that weird frosting cupcake lined face because I don't know why I thought that's what I thought of whenever I saw him. But here he is in his gaudy green and purple outfit. I'm thankful. I, I'm try, was trying to think because I always had other names and stuff like that. Um, I, I think he might have been like Kronos or something. Where's my book? Where's my book? Here is my Avengers Ultimate Character Guide. Real quick, I'm going to quickly go over to Kang. And just to show you some of the other stuff I have besides card sets. Here it is. Marvel's Avengers Ultimate Character Guide. I love a character guide. DK Books. I'm switching over to Kang real quick. Let's see. I got Korvac. Not Korvac. Oh, Kang's got to be in here somewhere. Kazar. Claw. Kang! There he is. Uh, for the most part, he's pretty much kind of looked the same. Just like different interpretations of how big the, um, the faceplate is on his helmet. Uh, Nathaniel Richards discovered time travel and journeyed back from his own timeline in 3000 CE to ancient Egypt. There he ruled as Ramatut for several years, later traveling to the 40th century, where he created an empire as Kang the Conqueror. Nathaniel Richards? A little breath. Let's see. Kang was usually an enemy of the Avengers, but once joined forces with them to prevent his future self, Immortus, from wiping out a number of parallel worlds. I don't know what he looked like as Immortus. But here he is as Kang. So, then your entrance, occupation as a conqueror, six foot three, 230, brown over brown. He is a master of time travel. His suit provides super strength and protection. He has access to future weapons, i.e., why he has the blaster that he does. Uh, allies, uh, parallel, alternate Kangs, uh, foes, Hulkling, Ravana, and the Avengers. Hey! You know, I thought I was going to get some other answers out of there. But here is Kang. And again, you know, um, seeing the Secret Wars version of this guy when I was a kid and not owning him and not being able to quickly get a hold of him when the Fantastic Four um, line came out and getting that Kang. So he was kind of like, oh, God, I need, a I need him. He's a heavy hitter. And here he is. Just to go articulation real quick. He's got a ball-jointed neck. Is there a... Hinge there? Yeah, there's a hinge. At least I think there's a hinge. Let me put the head on and take a look. Yep, there's a hinge. Not much of a hinge. I mean, it's a hinge. You know. But it looks like he's got a nice uh, waist joint there. I don't think he's got an ab crunch. Uh, hinge and swivel shoulders. Go like that. No bi or no, is there a bicep cut? It looks like there's supposed to be one. Or they could easily put one in the scope, but they didn't. They got that 
hinge and swivel elbow joint, which it's hit or miss, uh, um, but they do sculpt it well because you can you can hide some of that hinge and swivel the wrist. I'm going to quickly go through these just because it's a whole wave. Other comparisons, build a figure, thigh cut, double jointed knee, uh, knee joints, obviously a different color than the thigh and the shins and feet, which, you know, bothers you that much. Paint them. I'm not gonna, just because I'm easy to please. He comes with alternate hands, so he comes with a total of five set of hands, two fist hands that are on him when he's in package. He's got some open, I'm going to, in my opinion, take over the world. Like, when they have open hands like this, give me a globe. You know. I'm sorry, I forget to zoom in sometimes. But they look pretty good. And then he's got a left trigger finger hand because he comes with this. Nice looking hand cannon. I can't remember when the... Does Rocket come with this thing? I'm looking to see where my Rocket Raccoon is. Hopefully he didn't do a shelf dive. My Rocket's somewhere up there. I can't remember whether he's got this or it's like a bigger version. Or very reminiscent of this. That's why I didn't understand why Kang came with one. Maybe because I don't understand him as much as I need to. Oh, and that's a that's an up and down swivel to up and down hinge. Oh, wait, take that out. Put the hand on it and then pop it back in because I think that'll be a lot easier. Oh, I guess thumb around there. There we go. Oh, you're being pain, aren't you? Trying to get that thumb or that finger trigger finger in there. He's becoming a pain. There we go. It's been one of those things where you just set it in there and that's how it's gonna stay. Again, he knows about future weapons, so there he goes. And he also comes with Joe Fixit's right foot. And on to Sam Wilson himself. Um, I put these on. These are the same wings that come with Vulture. And I snapped them on real quick because they're kind of a pain to get up in there. But when you look on these, on his other wings... And let me see if I can zoom in there real quick so you can see it. There is an R right there, so it tells you right or left. And then you just go to the corresponding slot. This is on his forearm. Fits in there, pops in there nice. Let me put the other wing in there. As I hear two girls running around my house giggling and having a quick impromptu party. They, they made cupcakes. They made cupcakes. They had a party planned. They have plates. You know, uh, when I was a kid, when we ran over somebody's house, we just made sure somebody had an, an, an Nintendo. You know, but that's not how it's played today. There he is. A much needed and wanted update to Captain America's friend, Falcon. And I really dig it. Um, articulation. He's got uh, this is again the uh, or this is that uh, Spider-Man twenty ninety nine type body. He's got a head on a ball joint and a swivel. You get a little bit of play and get some tude. He doesn't have. He, he can kind of look up, but you know, if you. You know, you're, you're kind of kind of get that. That's if you have him suspended on the shelf. I don't think I'm going to have him suspended on the shelf. I'm probably going to have him standing static. But with this wings, because there's the wings down at the side, you could have the wings up. I mean, th again, this is also dependent on how many other 
figures you have on that shelf. If you have an Avengers shelf, to where I also incorporate a lot of regular Marvel characters like Punisher and Spider-Man and S.H.I.E.L.D., it gets kind of cramped. So, but he's got the butterfly shoulders, hinge and swivel on the shoulders, which, man, that one's... Oh, toy like a toy guy. Got to watch out that one. I don't want a Spider-Man shoulder snap. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbow. Comes. Uh, wrist has got a hinge and swivel. In and out. Not bad. Doesn't bother me. Got an ab joint, which is kind of stiff, but you can hear those detents. Uh, waist swivel. Hips. And he can get a pretty good range. He can get a pretty good range. Uh, thigh cut. Double jointed knee. And then shin cut. Uh, pin. Hinge and ankle rocker. Which if I can get to work. There we go. Oh, nice detent that one. Nice detents. Very, very nice figure. I, I like the, I like the, the body they used for this one. Ple it pleases me. And it, it, it just cuts him a nice slender muscular silhouette, you know, for, for Sam. He comes with a pair of alternate hands. If I, you know, I'm going to take this off just to, oh, I'm going to take him off camera. Oh, he comes with a more, uh, guy gliding through the air, knife chop hands. Uh, you know, would I have preferred more of like a cupping hand where it looks like he's cupping his wings? Eh, maybe. I'll be good with the, the flying through the air hands. Because uh, it works for me. Or as, or as I also like to consider these the flash running hands. But this is Marvel we're talking about, boys and girls. Ain't no DC heroes here. I mean, there are in this room. There are tons of them. Tons of them. But there he is. And there he is with those different hands, those more flying through the air hands. You know, I'm liking this. Again, very much needed update to good old Sam. And he also comes with Mr. Fix-It's left leg. Uh, next up, Mr. Thunderstrike. Oh, so his hands over here. Uh, first impressions, I wouldn't have gone with the screaming head. I don't know. Alternate head, maybe. Maybe that's just who he is. He's a screamer. I don't know. Um... Uh, Back in the 90s, um, I can't honestly remember why Thunderstruck was running around. I think um, Thor had amnesia or something like that. So this was this was the main guy. And then he came, Thor came back. There was Dengar, a better Ray Bill. But um, I remember liking him. I remember liking him and just eagerly anticipating when we would get a Thunderstruck figure. And here he is. Ah, dang it, Sam. You know, he's, I forgot what body he's more put on. I mean, he's not quite Thor. I'll bring up Thor here in a second to see if that's the same torso. Nice big biceps. Which biceps are these? Not Sandman's. Heck, they might be Thor's. But, you know, he's got that, that 90s, you know, sleeveless leather jacket thing going on. She's like, oh no, I got some paint transfer. Oh no. There's no wash on this, and it's a very soft vest, which I really, really like. I mean, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of paint here on the buckles. He's got that's on the back. You can't see it, but I'll be able to easily get that off. You know. God, I'm, just, I'm not a big fan of that face. I'm just not. But again, I'm that type of guy. I'll take what I can get. But to go over articulation. Ball jointed, hinge neck, 
diaphragm. Yeah, I think there is a waist. There's got to be a waist. So well there, because that belt's in two pieces. Holy shakatola. Oh, I'm not even going to try to break that loose now. Hinge and swivel at the shoulders, which brings them out about that much. Bicep cut, double jointed elbow. Hinge and swivel at the wrist. Does he have an up and downer? Yes, he has an up and downer. Thank you. So I can do a hammer out pose. And this one has a an in and out. The left has an in and out, but the hammer holding hand has a up and downer. He also comes with an alternate fist hand on the the left, which is closed fist, and that's an in and out as well. But hip joints go up and down, in and out. Not much on the kick there. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Oh my gosh, that's that's a stiff. Yeah. And down past his that don't, don't, don't these look like um what was it uh baseball catcher pads? That's what that looks like. That's what I keep thinking. Anyway, uh ankle pivot and rocker. And again, just to give a close up on that punum. My producer doesn't have to zoom in as much. I just felt like, I don't know, it's not bad. It's I mean, it's just not knocking out of the park for me. I'd rather have just a somber bearded face. And he comes with his hammer, which you can open up that hand and put that in. That's a, that's a good looking hammer. Kind of bring that out real quick so we can kind of. Take a look at this. It's got a nice T right there on the top for the Thunderstrike. Looks like he can. Looks like he's fixing to throw this sucker. You know. He's holding it down, but let's all be fair. He'll be holding it in his hand. this and there he is I like it I, mean, I like the, the again the, the screaming face for just the dynamics but I would have preferred right out the gate more of a closed mouth somber head I guess all right now on to Jacosta here she is And I'm, my brain is escaping me what movie that is. Is it? Oh, God. I'll remember it later. I'll be searching through what 1920s movie they did about a robotic female. Let me see if I can find your post in here. H-I-J. Oh, there she is. Jocasta. Ultron, the robotic enemy of the Avengers, created the robot Jocasta to be his mate. He based his personality on the original he based her personality on the original Wasp, the wife of Ultron's creator, Hank Pym. Not Tony Stark. I know they did what they did for the movies. I, mean, I can dig it. So Jacosta was made by Ultron. But Jacosta rebelled against Ultron. She helped the Avengers defeat her creator and join the team for a while. At one point, her intelligence entered Tony Stark's computers. Controlling their operations and working closely with Iron Man. Let's see. Jocasta, occupation, former adventurer and computer. Let's see. Yep, during the Skrull invasion, Jocasta fought the invaders with Devil Slayer and her fellow initiative members in New Mexico. Well, there you go. Here's Jocasta. You know, she's on that... Uh, Moonstone, original Ms. Marvel body, which I dig it. I must have added in that belly sculptor. Was that, I want to say, I want to go grab my silver sable and say, is that like the same? 
because that's sculpted in. Sculpted upper chest area. But I, I want to say it's that same, you know, thick thighed female body that they had. I like this one. You know, I like that head sculpt. Is it Metropolis? Was that the name of that movie? That's what I'm thinking of. You know, but like, uh, like the head sculpt. Got the rivets. They zoom in there, those rivets for eyebrows, which is pretty cool. Very sad face, though. I mean, you know, she probably rebelled against her creator and didn't like that, so. There she is. Oh, she's got that uh, pivot joint. So, heads on a ball joint. A good amount of movement. You know, she can look up a little bit. She can go down a little bit, but her hair, her hair, or, you know, what she considers hair is going to stop a little bit from going down. But. Oh. Swivel and joint on. Uh oh. Battery power is getting low. Might have to make some adjustments here, folks. Uh oh. Let me see here. If I can do this and keep recording. Hopefully, this doesn't get this upside down in my. My video is not just upside down here. Oh gosh, it probably is. You know what? I'm going to pause this for technical difficulties. I'll be right back with you.